Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well as we preview Niger against Algeria for a place at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. Now this game is a little bit exciting guys because if Algeria win this game against Niger away we will qualify for AFCON 2023 and I know that doesn't seem like much but it's Ramadan. Let's be humble. I've seen plenty of AFCONs when we couldn't even qualify for the tournament. Even the last tournament we went to, we couldn't get out of group with Sierra Leone and Equatorial Guinea. So with respect, okay, you don't you have to work to qualify for these competitions, um, as Nigeria found out the other day. So this is to qualify. Group looks very, very healthy despite the scare we had in the first game in Baraki. Algeria sitting pretty with nine points out of nine. Uh, at the top of the group, Tanzania, four points there in second, um, with Niger in third, still without a win with two points, and Uganda bottom at the moment with just a point. So victory for Algeria will seal the qualification to the AFCON next January. So there's a lot riding on this. Let's get it wrapped up after four games, and then we can use the last two qualifying games to really test our players, get our squad, and get our starting 11 ready for the tournament. Inshallah. So this game, Monday, uh, the 27th of March, 2023, and kickoff is at five o'clock. Um, be careful, the clocks have changed. Don't get confused. Um, now, although it is Niger away, um, the game is actually taking place in Tunisia, um, in Rades, uh, which is where I think Tunisia beat Libya 3-0 not long ago, I think. So even though it's an away game, it feels quite, quite favourable. Um, it's in another North African country. Niger don't have facilities deemed um, good enough to have a CAF stadium so um, it could have been in Benin, could have been in Morocco, it's ended up being in Tunisia and entry into the stadium is free so you don't even need a ticket so if you're in uh, Tunisia why not head on down there. Now of course the big talking point, well first of many, is that the players will be fasting for this match and actually the iftar, the Maghreb time in Tunisia, I think actually takes place during the second half. I wonder if the referee will pause the game to allow the players that are fasting to break their fast or if they'll wait just a few, few more minutes until full time. That'll be interesting. But of course, with the players fasting, the uh, the energy levels have to be different. Um, it will impact the game. But nonetheless, we should be strong favourites heading into this one. But Niger and Omugs, it took us 88 minutes to take the lead against them uh, in the last game. But what team is Belmadi going to pick? I've got to say... Um, Disappointing from some players in the last game. I was disappointed with Mandrea, with Delore and with Belayli. Um So this is what I think we'll see something like. I think Zugba in goal because Mandrea wasn't that convincing considering he had barely anything to do. Um, so I'd have Zugba in goal. And if he's convincing, he'll probably get number one now, won't he? I think Jatwan Hadjem will make his debut. Um, I don't know if at left back or at right back, but I think Belmadi has said he will play um, in this game. Centre-backs, I want to see Ben Sabani as a centre-back once again. If that is the route we're going down for, with Aint Nori being the left-back, we've got to try Ben Sabani at centre-half as many times as possible because he's not playing there for his club. I'd put two guy alongside him. I think two guys going to play. And right-back, why not see Van den Kerkhoff for a, for a debut? So we could see Hadjem and Van den Kerkhoff make their debuts. Maybe get Zinedine Belaid to come on as a sub as well. Midfield, Banassa alongside... Maybe someone we haven't seen yet in this break. Maybe Zaruki, maybe Kadri. Kadri's one I'm really interested to see. Um, I've got not much interest in Zorgan. Once, once Awar is here, I don't think we'll be seeing much of him. Um, so Kadri for me alongside Banassa would be an interesting one. Don't need to play so many defensive midfield players. i play Shaibi as a number 10. i play Mahrez on the right. i play Botnani on the left from the start. And up front, Delore with just four touches in that game. Um, I think Buna Jah has earned the right to start for Algeria. So I think Bunerja up front is the one we might see. And I think it's very hard to put him on the bench after his cameo in that second half. He was crucial. And um, if he gets a couple of goals in this game, he's pretty much going to get that starting striking spot for a long while until Amin Guri comes along. So we'll go for Bunerja up front. So that's my team. Um, you've got to play Mar as a captain. Niger, with a lot of players, interestingly, naturalised. Ghana born, played for Ghana's youth, like Yakubu, like Sosa, the guy that's called the chip. So we'll see how Niger get on, because it is their home game. But of course, in Rades, they're not really at home in Tunisia, are they? So 
I'm going to be more humble and say we're going to win the game 4-0 or not by 10. We're looking to clinch AFCON qualification. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Inshallah, we'll be live again for the game. Um, subscribe for more. Drop a like on the video if you think we're going to win. I'll see you next time.